Hi, I'm Gina, Clinical Sales Specialist for Point of Care Ultrasound. I'm going to be introducing you to the venue. There are four pro ports located on the back of the venue. To lock in your probe, slide in your probe into the port and push your lever towards the lock icon. To unlock your probe, press your lever towards the opposite side, towards the unlock icon, and release. In the back of your ultrasound system, you have available two USB ports, one HDMI port, and one Ethernet cable port. You also have a breaker switch available to you located directly underneath. There is an additional USB port located on the back of Venue's monitor. The Venue wheels have both front and back steering and braking mechanisms. To activate steering, press down on your green lever. To deactivate, press down on your gray lever. To activate your brake mechanism, press down on your red lever, or both. To release your braking mechanism, press down on your gray lever. To lock your monitor, align your locking mechanism and push until you hear a click. Now it is locked. To unlock your monitor, squeeze your black handle and release. Now your monitor is unlocked. The venue has a 19 inch display monitor with an articulating arm. This enables you to move the monitor from side to side and up and down. The monitor also has a seamless touchscreen display, which enables thorough cleaning. To boot up your venue, tap and hold on the power icon located in the top right hand side of your touchscreen. It will take up to 80 seconds to boot up. To shut down or place your system in standby mode, tap on settings located in the top right hand side of the touchscreen. Then tap off. If standby is chosen, you can reboot the system in six seconds. When shutdown is selected, your system will reboot in less than 80 seconds. Your battery indicator is located on the top right hand side of your touchscreen. On a fully charged battery, you will have up to four hours of a battery life. To begin a patient, select your patient icon in your top left hand side of your touchscreen. To enter patient demographics, tap on patient ID. To go to your next field, just simply select last name. To enter extended patient data, tap on extended patient data under gender and input your extended patient data. To select a probe, your top right hand side of your screen, you would select your probe and your preset, which are listed right underneath. In this case, we will do an eFAST exam You may now begin your exam. To end an exam, tap on End Exam located on the bottom left hand side of your touch screen. Tap Yes if you wish to end this exam. The exam is now ended.